Hey y'all, welcome back to another week of what's for dinner. So on Monday, we actually had dinner at my parents' house and my dad made this chicken, potato, and carrot dish. So I'm pretty sure all he did was just season up the chicken and veggies and then cover it in cream of chicken soup and probably some chicken broth and butter and just baked it all together. And then we served it over some white rice with some corn on the side. And then for dessert, we had some strawberry shortcakes, which always remind me of summertime is one of my favorite summertime treats. For Tuesday, we are having a really simple dinner. We've had an extremely busy day, so we're gonna be doing some BLTs. And I just wanted to share about this bacon because I bought this one time before and it was so, so good. Um, it is more expensive than what I normally buy, but I did find this on sale and it's completely worth it to me. So, so good. And then I'm just going to boil some corn. BLTs are my go-to when I want a simple and fast dinner and they are just so satisfying to me and I am so glad that fresh corn on the cob is finally in season. It's so good right now. It is Wednesday and I'm about to put together a really easy crock pot meal. So this is a creamy Italian chicken. I made this recipe once before, but it's been a really long time. I am cutting this recipe in half, but for the ingredients, I have two chicken breasts that I have been thawing out. I'm gonna need half a block of this cream cheese half a packet of this zesty Italian salad dressing mix, as well as one can of cream of chicken. So I'm just gonna get all this dumped into my crock pot and I'm gonna cook it on low for four hours. When the four hours was up, I just shredded up the chicken. All I had to do was take that wooden spoon and just kind of break it apart. And it was so tender, it just fell apart. And then I gave it a good stir just to combine it really well with that cream cheese. So we served ours over some rotini pasta and we're using the Garden Delight veggie noodles. This is what my kids really love, but I think it would also be really good over some mashed potatoes or some rice. Um, this Italian chicken was amazing. I highly recommend it. It's just a few ingredients. So good, we all loved it. And then I'm just serving it with some roasted asparagus and cherry tomatoes on the side. Next up, I'm making a Dr. Pepper chili dog sauce. So to my pan, I just threw in a pound and a half of ground beef, brown that up, and then I'm going to drain off all the grease. Next, I'm just adding in a whole six ounce can of tomato paste, followed by several dashes of Worcestershire sauce. Then I'm going to be adding in a clove of garlic. I finally got myself a garlic press. This was my first time using it. Super happy about that. Um, and I'm just going to stir that around for about 30 seconds or so just to kind of cook up that garlic. And then next, I'm going to be adding in about three tablespoons of chili powder and I'm just going to give that a good stir just to distribute the seasonings well and then I'm adding some onion powder the recipe called for minced onion but that's what I used and you're also going to throw in a cup of Dr. Pepper this is going to really deglaze your pan and it gives it a nice sweetness so I'm just stirring that around and then I'm going to add in some water and I'm basically just going to cook this until it is all warm through and nice and bubbly so once it comes off the heat, I'm just going to season it with some salt and pepper to taste and that is it. We of course serve this over some all beef hot dogs that I cooked in my air fryer and there is some cheese underneath the chili and I love having mustard on top of my chili dogs, but this recipe is a keeper. It was really good and stuff like this freezes really well. I did end up freezing the leftovers and then on the side, I just have a cloth and pickle, which is my favorite kind and also some Lay's plain potato chips and that was our dinner for Thursday. 
Okay, so a while back, I found this pork loin on sale at Kroger's. It was regularly at $23, and I got it for $7.82. But I got lazy, and I just stuck this whole thing in the freezer without dividing it into portions. So I asked you guys over on Instagram, for those of you who follow me over there, um, what I should do with this because it is almost five pounds. And you guys came through once again and gave me so many great ideas. So I just wanted to say thank you guys. And also, I always thought that when you unthawed me that you had to cook it all the same day, but a lot of you guys told me that if you thought properly in the fridge, you can use it within the next few days. So that's what I'm gonna do. So for the first half of this, I'm gonna be using it today. I'm gonna grill it with this smoky applewood marinade mix. And then I'm gonna use this other half either tomorrow or the day after that for another recipe. I have two pounds of meat cut up into here and I just followed the directions on the back. So I just had to add in some olive oil, water and some apple cider vinegar. So I just whisked that together, poured it in this bag and I'm gonna let that marinate in the fridge for a bit. And I did reserve about two tablespoons of this so that I can baste it while it's cooking on the grill. make some cheddar bacon ranch deviled eggs to go along with tonight's dinner. I was super excited about this recipe and as you can see it's not going to happen. So I made these um, eggs in the air fryer like I've done many times before and for some reason this time it just did not turn out. Um, the shell is not coming off and the yolks are just not cooked enough. I cooked these I want to say 250 or 260 for 16 minutes and then I let them sit in an ice bath for five minutes. So I don't know super irritated but i just have to find something else for a side this pork was the bomb it was so juicy and i love the flavor from that marinade packet even my kids ate this and i can never get them to eat just a piece of pork they loved it so i was super happy about that and then i just served it with a loaded baked potato and i always have to have a1 steak sauce on my potatoes if you haven't tried it trust me just do it you'll love it and you'll never go back and then i just served it with a side salad of lettuce tomatoes croutons and i drizzled it with some ranch on Saturday, I got to meet up with a fellow YouTube mama here, um, Tamara from Southern Wife Everyday Life, and we celebrated her son's fourth birthday party, and they grilled out and had tons of food to choose from. It was such a fun day. Sunday, I used the other half of that pork, and I made the famous Mississippi pot roast, so I'm sure that everybody's heard of this, but all it is is a packet of ranch seasoning, a packet of au jus gravy, and I didn't have much left in my pepperoncini jar, so I just threw in the rest, including the juice, and I use about three tablespoons of butter, and I just cooked that on low for eight hours. I have done this recipe with chuck roast and chicken thighs. Now I can say pork and they are all amazing. It's definitely one of my favorite recipes and it's super easy. I just serve it with some homemade mashed potatoes and some mixed veggies. And that's going to wrap up the video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see y'all back next time.